are. In this video, we will uh, learn how to create and use SubVIs in uh, LabVIEW. So SubVI, uh, you could say it is the same as a function or a method um, that we use or call it in other programming languages. Um, within LabVIEW, you have hundreds or maybe even thousands of uh, SubVIs that are included with LabVIEW that you can use and include in your program. Um, but even better, with the LabVIEW, you can create and use your own SubVIs. So this is what you will learn in this video. So why create and use SubVIs? Uh, typically, um, you need to create and use a SubVI when you, you do the same operation many times in your code. Uh, it's a good way to reuse uh, your parts of your code in other applications or within the same application. Also, it's a good way to hide complicated um, uh, code into a SubVI. Also, it's easier to maintain your code and it's also easier to find bugs and, uh, and in order to repair them. So here you see a simple example. Uh, in this example, I have created and implemented uh, a simple formula which converts uh, the temperature in Celsius to the temperature in uh, Fahrenheit using this formula. So here you see um, the code for this application and then um, the next thing we need to do is to, to include uh, inputs and outputs and in order to do that, we just use the numeric controls and indicators. So typically numeric uh, controls are inputs to the SubVI and numerical um, indicators, or it could be, it doesn't need to be numerical, it, it can be other data types, but uh, indicators in general are outputs of the SubVI. Then we can also create a proper icon, so it's easier to see and recognize the SubVI in our main program. So here you see an example where I have used the SubVI I showed on the previous slide. You see the icon and you see the input to the SubVI and you see the output. And then the SubVI calculates this formula. So the input is uh, the temperature in Celsius and then the output will be the temperature in Fahrenheit based on the formula that is implemented in the SubVI. So let's go through this example uh, inside LabVIEW. So just let's open uh, LabVIEW. We select file and new UI in order to create a SubVI so it's no difference than, cr uh, than creating other uh, VIs in LabVIEW. So you just start with a blank VI in order to create a uh, user VI. So we can, in this case, start with the front panel. So we define uh, the inputs. In this case, it should be the temperature in Celsius. And this is a numeric control. And then the output of this survey should be the temperature in Fahrenheit, like this. So this is our main uh, front panel. Then we can click Control E in order to go to our block diagram. And then you see we have the terminal here for the temperature in Celsius. And then we have the output terminal for the temperature in Fahrenheit. And then we just need to create the logic in order to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So let's, in this case, we just need to find uh, this multiply block. We need a divide block and we need an add block. Like this. And then we can start creating our logic according to our formula. So we need to multiply the temperature in Celsius and then we have to multiply can right click on this uh, divide block, the upper input, right click and create constant and then we need to 
divide 9 by 5 so then the lower input create constant and then you can enter 5 and then you need to multiply this output with uh, the temperature in celsius and then we need to uh, add this output uh, with uh, 32 then you can just create constant enter 32 and now we have created our formula and the output here will be uh, the temperature in Fahrenheit you can also adjust it to make it a little bit nicer like this you can put it up in the left corner you can drag these borders you can do the same uh, with the front panel just to make it nicer like this and next then we can save it file save and then we can just save it mm. convert to our night or something and click OK and then you can test it we can just enter a value here and then when we click the run button the temperature in Fahrenheit should be calculated so now it seems that everything works as expected and then next we need to define the inputs and outputs of this survey so then we use this um, and this um, and block um, input and output uh, here then we can just right click on this one and then we can select pattern and then uh, based on if you have um, many inputs or outputs we can choose the proper patterns in this case we just have one input and one output and then you can select this pattern which has one input and one output and then we can click on the input just click once with the mouse and then click on the proper control like this and then you see and uh, the input terminal is con is uh, connected here and then we do the same for the output connector just click on this output connector and then we click on the indicator and you see the input is connected to this one and the output, output is uh, connected to this one so now we have created our first um, survey next we can also create an icon so we can just and double click on this one in order to open the icon editor here we have lots of templates we can use we can enter text we have predefined icons we can use we can also have different layers etc uh, but let's uh, keep it simple we can just use this uh, tool select tool remove and the default icon click on delete and then we can just enter some text mm. convert to or night or something then you can also if the text is going outside we can just adjust the text as well like this it seems to be a little bit small so then we can just uh, shorten this one like this and then adjust the font like this oh so we can um, we have lots of possibilities here uh, when we are creating our icon but um, in this case we just keep it simple so we just enter some simple text and then click ok and then you see this new icon appears here in the upper right corner of the survey so now we have uh, created our first survey and we have tested it and uh, see it works as expected next we want to use our survey in another vi 
as illustrated in this example. So you just have some demi VI here where we can adjust the temperature in Celsius and then we see uh, in this indicator the temperature in Fahrenheit and then the conversion is made by this uh, VI. And then we have included everything inside a while loop. So let's create this uh, simple example in uh, LabVIEW. So we are back uh, in LabVIEW. We can just uh, have our sub-VI here while we file new, make a new VI. Then we can start creating our front panel in this case. We just have this uh, slider, which could be the temperature in Celsius. And then we have this other indicator. This it could be this uh, this one. It should be show the temperature in Fahrenheit. So this is temp Celsius, and this is temp Fahrenheit. So this is our front panel, and let's go to our block diagram in this case. So the only thing we need to do now is put this one on the left side and this one on the right side. And then we have our sub VI here. We can just drag it like this. Or we could have right click and then select, select a VI and then select our sub VI on, on our hard drive where we saved it. So just double click on it, put it here, and then next we need to draw lines or wires uh, between this input, which should be an input to the sub VI, and the output goes to this uh, indicator like this. And then we can also open our sub VI, just double click on it, and then our sub VI appears. We can click Ctrl E in order to open block diagram like this but now we are finished we can just go to our front panel and we can click on the run button uh, in this case we can just select the value here let's say we have from 0 to 100 uh, celsius and then we have from 0 to 200 fahrenheit or something and then we can Let's say we have 30 degrees Celsius and then we can click run button and then the calculated Fahrenheit value will appear here in this indicator. We can improve this example by using a for loop or a while loop. So let's use a while loop in this case. We just find down the structures, we find the while loop and drag it like this above our code and then we can also add some uh, button in order to stop our program like this and then we can wire the stop button to this uh, this this um, button here on the while loop like this um, so now we can start our program and then I can adjust the value here and in real time you see the calculate, calculated value appears here, the calculated Fahrenheit value appears here while I change this uh, value like this. And then I can just click the stop button. And one small adjustment would be to, to include a timer. You can just use this wait clock and then we can create, right click on it, on the input, create a constant. In this case, you can just use 100 milliseconds or something. The good thing about including this uh, timer um, is that we don't use all the um, processor um, time. So in this case, we can just have this uh, small timer in order to not use um, the 
processor on our computer too much and then you see if you start it once more it's working in the same manner like this and you can click the stop button and then now we have created a simple sub bi we have seen how we can use this sub bi in another application we can also create multiple instance of our sub bi we can just click control in order to make more copies like this so assuming we have one temperature here and one temperature here and then we have Fahrenheit 1 and then we have this Fahrenheit 2 and then we can easily use the same survey in order to to convert this second temperature as well like this we can adjust this one we can adjust this one one thing if we use uh, multiple survey uh, in our program it's a good thing to just um, double click on it right click on this one and select vi properties and then select uh, execution and then we can select uh, this uh, option here so with this non reentrant uh, execution mode um, the different services use the same memory uh, but when we use multiple uh, services of this, the same service uh, multiple times in in our program it's always a good practice to select this this um, this uh, option in this way um, we can use multiple uh, services in the same program without um, they don't use the same memory so they don't um, conflict with each other so select always this one then you use uh, the service multiple times so then click OK save it and then we just test it to see if it works so you see it's quite easy uh, to create services and use services and then you can also um, easily edit them just double click on them and click ctrl e in order to open the CBI, uh, the block diagram for the CBI. so if you want to learn more about uh, lab programming you can open this uh, this web page so on this web page you find lots of information about lab uh, lots of resources like videos exercises uh, etc so just open and use these resources that is available on this web page so that's all so good look good luck with uh, labview and creating and using services within labview